Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, first off, just wanted to say thank you guys so, so very much for all the support. It means the world to me. We just hit half a million views on YouTube, and we are about four subs last time I checked off of the 1,700 subscriber mark. So, this is just baffling milestones to me you know half a million people sort of have clicked on my videos in some degree i suppose but it's just crazy to uh think that something that i've been working on and just sort of genuinely wanting to help people any way i can um doing the thing i love playing games um wow specifically but just doing that and is really resonated with you guys and we're definitely hitting something um, it just means the world to me that it's taking off so much and I just wanted to take the time here to thank you guys so very much for everything. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to do to sort of uh, celebrate that, just let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video. So today's video is going to be the last profession that we are going to cover. Then we have covered everything profession-wise in Classic. And that is actually going to be engineering. Now, engineering is a pretty um, interesting profession because there isn't too much money um, with it. However, there is a ton of uses for it. And to go in depth, like I've been putting this one off because I actually don't have an engineer at max level. Um, I have focused on so many other profit make professions opposed to engineering and while engineering is great for some awesome things and toys to mess around with it's not really um something that i have sought after because i didn't really get hardcore into pvp um if you are hardcore into pvp you absolutely need engineering like it is a must have profession um, but just to sort of go over some of the things with engineering. First off, there are two forms of engineering. There is gnomish engineering as well as goblin engineering. Now, goblin seems to have a lot more um, consumables, stuff you're going to make over and over and over again, such as one of the biggest items that is one of the only items I've seen profit, and that is a goblin sapper charge. Now we're going to find that here in explosives right there. Now the cost of this is one mage weave cloth, three solid blasting powder, and an unstable trigger. Um, that turns out for the raw materials to be one mithril bar, two mage weave cloth, and eight solid stones. Now I went over to the auction house just a moment ago and took a look and sapper charges were about four gold per and the mats to make them were about two gold and sixty-ish silver. Um, and that was pretty, uh, cheap to me, and there is profit margin there. I'm not sure how well they sell. I don't have an engineer. I'm not sure if it's really worth your time to sit there and just make a ton of these, but if engineering and mining are your two professions, why not, you know? Mithril, solid stones, mage with cloth, that's all mid, uh, 40s, uh, type materials. Um, you'll get the solid stones from mining mithril, um, so that's super huge. Um... But anyway, that's sort of the one of the biggest things for Goblin and Prophets, period, that I have seen. Um, then there's all sorts of other bombs and explosives that you can see here. Dense Dynamite, Thorium Grenade, Dark Iron, Arcane Bomb. Now those are quite expensive, but if you're trying to parse and raid or kill people in PvP, they're awesome to have. It's just a, another button you can press with no global cooldown that can really get some uh, extra damage for you. Um, if I had an engineer, I would go into way more depth on showing you fights and stuff where we can do that. Um, I plan on doing that once I do get an engineer up here, but I just haven't gone towards that path just yet. Um, but anyway, that's one of the biggest things you can get with Goblin Engineering. Um, now to list off everything else that you can get, um, a Goblin Construction Helm, Goblin Mining Helm, Goblin Mortar, Goblin Rocket Fuel, Goblin Rocket Boots, which are awesome for PvP, um, and then the Dimensional Ripper Everlook, which will allow you to teleport to Everlook if you are a Goblin Engineer. Then there's also the Goblin Rocket Helmet, which will um, 
you charge to an enemy and it knocks you down and can stun you but you still charge to them um it's pretty cool um for that purpose um here is that we'll take a look right there um i've seen people pvping and using this expertly um it's pretty cool actually um and then we have a um into the trinkets which we're gonna go into no mesh engineering which no mesh engineers can make uh inclined mithril cylinders um the no mesh shrink ray which is really good it reduces someone's attack power by 250 um i believe we're going to see that here um doo -doo 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 -doo. i didn't thought it would be in this part right here for that Anyway, um, a lot of the gnomish stuff are th these items that you see right here. You know, they're they're fun little toys that sort of do things um, and can really uh, manipulate a battlefield. And you're able to sort of fight and do things. Um, something that I see a lot of people do is they will go gnomish engineering at first. And what they will do with that is they will make things like the... Um, these pets here you know they'll make the arcanite dragonling um things like that that are um really really powerful but you can use them as a um normal engineer so like right here you can see this um that's a super expensive pet but it can clap and do a ton of damage to um enemy uh to like pve things and stuff like that um if you want the lesser ones and mechanical dragging these require no machine engineering but what you do is you level it get those recipes craft each of these odd items sort of like the death ray here um battle chicken um you can get these uh net projectors just like all of these awesome things uh, there's the shrink ray I was talking about earlier the gnomish cloaking device it can give you invisibility for 10 uh for 10 seconds which is a free invis pot every hour um it's great if you're um sort of doing any solo farming and dungeons and runs like that um and then as a um gnomish engineer you actually get the dimensional uh Tell, you get to teleport to gadgets and it's ultra safe transporter to gadgets and whereas goblin gets ever look so what i know a lot of people do is they will level engineering go gnomish build all these cool things um that only gnomish engineers get then they drop engineering level it again and go goblin that way they have all these awesome items that they have learned used and made and then they can be a goblin engineer for making things like the sapper charges that you're going to use a ton of um throughout everything that you're doing um and i just wanted to sort of go over that real quick and show you how uh you can definitely do that and why that is an awesome thing to do um but that's sort of it for the goblin to gnomish engineering um my friend here is getting a, an enchant um he's getting three stats to chest so you know people know i'm an enchanter so if they see me on and in this spot they'll trade me and sort of get stuff um but anyway guys um to sort of wrap this up just some of the awesome things that you can get for pvp um as i mentioned uh the gnomish cloaking device, goblin sapper charge, that net projector, the rocket boots. Um, something I didn't say was the gnomish mind control cap. This thing is pretty overpowered. It can, um, you just pretty much mind control someone for 20 seconds and they become your pet. It has so many practical uses um, because while they're your pet, like they're not a threat. You can do so many things with that, reposition them. Um, it's pretty cool like that. World Enlarger is a really weird thing that you can use. Um, what it does is it'll shrink you, but you can combine this with Noggin Fogger and you can be extra, extra small. Like people can barely see you. Um, it's just something that's really, really awesome. And then to, 
some of the final things to mention here are the reflectors. So there's an ice reflector, a flame reflector, and a shadow reflector. These are primarily used in PvP situations. However, they can also be used in PvE for very specific things. Um, the fire one, you'll find a lot of use in MC, BWL, and Ixia. It just will stop you from taking fire damage for five seconds, which can be make or break in uh, some situations. Then there's also a field repair bot that you can drop down to um, have people repair their gear. That one is um, pretty freaking nice, I'd say. Um, you can um, get your repair for... Uh, just your raid and stuff by dropping that there and then there's finally the goblin jumper cables which can be used um you put them on and you can uh revive a fallen person it has a chance to res pretty nice for classes that don't have reses like sh um everything other than shaman and priest really um and then there's also c form charges which can blow open locked doors um these are great for Dire Mall Tribute runs. It can open up that door if you're an engineer. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that engineer can make and have. Um, just a lot of just cool toys almost in the sense of retail. And um, just things that you can use here that can really, really help you and sort of give you so many options on how to play the game or go into ev any situation if you're talking about PvP. It's just something that's super, super cool, and it must have if you're going into PvP to any seriousness. Um, even if you're hardcore raiding, a lot of the uh, onslaught I know requires engineering, so everyone has sapper charges, and that's just something that's crazy. Um, I My guild requires it for most people, unless you're someone like me who has all the professions, um, then you don't have to. But anyway, guys, I really hope this helped. Um, finally, thank you again, guys, for everything. It means so much to me be hitting these major milestones and sort of um, just what I'm doing is sort of meaning something to you guys. And that's all I've pretty much ever wanted was to um, do what I love, playing games and sort of help people. So sincerely thank you guys really it, it really means so much to me um but yeah if i forgot anything or there's anything you guys want to add ask me about feel free to leave them in the comment section below i will definitely answer it and until next time guys i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.